Basic Utah girls. I grew up wanting to be them, so today, let's make it happen. So far, I've used bronzer to look like fake tan, mascara to look like lash extensions, eyebrow gel to look like microblading, and then a light pink lipstick. I grew up in Utah, and I'll be the first to say that everyone from here definitely has a look. And this isn't to make fun of anyone. Obviously, you can do your hair and makeup however you like, but it's really fun to try and recreate the beauty standard that I always wanted to live up to. I also wanted to talk about the lack of representation in Utah brands and different Utah influencer events. Like all brands in general, you always see different sizes and skin colors on their Instagrams and on their ads, but when it comes to their actual events where they're paying influencers to attend, it's always the white ones, which just sucks to see. Okay, this is my favorite part. Before, after. For the hair, I did the iconic Utah curls. <laughs> I'm not really sure what a Utah hairstyle is. Say what you want, the Utah girls have the cutest hairstyles and I always see them doing the two little braids by their face, but I have bangs and my hair wasn't long enough, so instead I did these twisted bubble braids. They're so easy, you just put two hair ties and then flip the section in the middle. I honestly never thought I'd do my makeup like this. I never wear bronzer because I hate making my skin darker and I'm just conditioned to believe that lighter skin is better. But I love how this turned out. I feel like I just look so warm and sun-kissed and it's perfect for summer. And it's making me appreciate my brown skin. Now it's time for the real test. Do I fit in with all the other Utah girls? Let me know.